Hello, and welcome to the Hoboken Public School District. Thank you for expressing interest in our elementary school program. Getting ready for kindergarten is certainly exciting. Here in the Hoboken School District, we cannot wait to meet your family, especially your child. The Hoboken School District operates three elementary schools. Let's meet the principals at each school. Hi, my name is Charles Bartlett, and I'm the principal of the Joseph F. Brandt Elementary School. All of my teachers, staff members, Brandt student bears, and their families want you to know that amazing things happen in our school. From rooftop recess to cool science experiments to math competitions and much more, our school is a tight-knit community. If your child is placed at the Joseph F. Brandt School, I have no doubt in my mind that they will thrive in this environment. I look forward to meeting you soon. I am Juliana Addy, and I am the very proud principal of the Thomas G. Connors Elementary School. At Connors Elementary School, our koalas bring such joy to us every day. Each student at Connors brings special talents and unique interests to the school community. Our teachers and staff members watch them challenge themselves, embrace one another's differences, and work toward building such a positive school environment. Our students truly love coming to school, and we love having them. If your child is placed at Thomas G. Connors Elementary School, I am confident that you will see a happy child emerge into a confident and successful learner. Hello, my name is Martin Shannon, and I'm the principal at Wallace Elementary School. Wallace is the largest elementary school in the district measured both in numbers and in heart. Wallace Wildcats generally care about one another and cooperate to make the school a place that is welcoming for all. I have spent the past five and a half years watching the teachers and staff at Wallace address the needs of the whole child, focusing on academics and the social emotional well-being of the students. I could not be more proud of the school community that has developed at Wallace Elementary School. I know that if your child is placed at Wallace, your entire family will find a second home at our school on Willow Avenue. Now it's time to sit back and hear all about the Hoboken Public School District's elementary school program. Learn what we offer our kindergarten through fifth grade students and how easy it is to enroll your child. The philosophy of our kindergarten program is to build a positive classroom community which supports social emotional development while simultaneously facilitating cognitive growth. That may sound overwhelming, but what it really means is that we want to be sure that all of our youngest students feel great about coming to school and that our teachers have all of the tools that they need to help you learn as much as you can. At each of our elementary schools, we are focused on establishing powerful learning environments, which include the opportunity to learn through play. Doesn't that sound fun? Lastly, we do everything in our power to make sure that all families feel that they are part of our school community, and we make that happen by fostering family partnerships to facilitate powerful connections, both at school and home. I hope that you believe what I'm sharing so far. If not, here are some testimonials from our kindergarten families. Students enjoy coming to school and parents and guardians are appreciative of the support that they are given. Because it's so fun and, and the teachers are very nice to me and we do fun events and we get along with each other. I remember when we dropped them off at the Wallace Gym that first day and he was nervous and he was crying. And I was like, oh my God, I was worried. Was he gonna have a good year? But then I remember when we picked him up at the end of that day and he had this humongous smile on his face and I knew right then and there he was gonna have a great year. And he has, let me tell you, he's had an amazing year. He's grown so many ways. He's more confident, he's more independent. He loves to sing, loves to sing his good morning song. <laughs> loves to read his mini readers and he gets so excited when he solves his math problems using the number line. The program has really exceeded my expectations. The community there is great. 
Our kindergarten teacher is so amazing and all of the children and their families are really wonderful. The specials are really great. My son comes home happy every day. He is learning, he's thriving, and we are a very happy Wallace family. Just really love being at Brant. We, we value the, the, the education and, uh, and everybody's just so caring and considerate from the administration to the teachers to the security guards. In the Hoboken Public School District, we focus on the whole child. For example, our students are immersed in the Peace Pal initiative that promotes a positive school culture and friendly exchanges between and among all children. Guess what? This school year, we also introduced Move This World in all of our classrooms as well. Move This World is a social emotional program that builds self-awareness, relationships, and a culture of support. Each of our elementary schools have a full-time guidance counselor and school nurse, child study team members on site, a full-time reading specialist, and a vice principal. All kindergarten classrooms also have a paraprofessional to assist the teacher. We do our best to keep our kindergarten classrooms at no more than 18 students. Wallace Elementary School is home to our special education departments preschool disabilities, autism, and multiple disabilities programs. Each of our elementary schools provides speech services and in-class and pull-out resource services for those children with individualized education plans. Each week, all students in our elementary schools participate in two days of physical education, one day of art, one day of music, and one day of world languages. Before you ask, you should know that there is also a dedicated time for recess each day, which takes place in our school's playgrounds, gymnasiums, or rooftop play areas. Also, all of our students in grade four and up can participate in our instrumental and strings program. Leading up to fourth grade, we have a rock and choral program. We are so proud that the Hoboken Public School District was recently named a national best school community for music education. At each of our elementary schools, we also teach English language arts, science, and social studies. I will tell you about them in a moment. Right now, I want to tell you about a special period that all of our elementary schools have each day, from kindergarten all the way up to fifth grade. This period is known as the individualized learning period. The Hoboken Public School District is data-driven. Some may think that this means we are so heavily focused on test preparation. That's not actually why or how we operate. We allow data to drive our instructional decisions. For example, all children in kindergarten through grade two sit for the diagnostic reading assessment three times per school year. This one-on-one -on -one assessment allows the teachers to determine which children need a bit more support in order to read on grade level and which have already met or exceeded that benchmark. Our students also take a link at benchmark in English language arts and math three times a year in grades two through five. These mini assessments help our teachers create a plan for each student to be used during our individualized learning period. The individualized learning period is one of our favorite periods at the elementary school level. We have seen so many children benefit from the work done in this period. The purpose of this period is to push the pause button each day and allow for teachers to either reteach materials for those needing support or provide extensions for learning for those needing challenge in the area of mathematics and language arts. Grade level teachers work together to continuously analyze data and flexibly group students during this period. Children that need English as a second language instruction are assisted th during this period and those that qualify for gifted and talented education through the COGAT and SCAT assessments partake in the Johns Hopkins Center for Talented Youth program. All others have their individualized need met in learning stations, small group settings, or through independent tasks. The best part of the individualized learning period is that two of the five days per week, all children participate in two grade level enrichment courses, one in the first half of the year 
and the other in the second half of the year. Our students compete in the New Jersey Steam Tank Competition, the Scripps Spelling Bee Contest, the Junior Model United Nations, Junior Mock Trial, and Math Olympiads, just to name a few enriching learning experiences. Experiential learning is an integral part of our school day. Children participate in walking and off-site field trips each year. These are graciously funded by the Hoboken Public Education Foundation. Our students have so much fun visiting popular sites in town and exploring museums, working farms, historical landmarks, and notable geographic locations. Let's talk about English language arts for a moment. In kindergarten, students will become readers and writers. That's right, readers and writers. In fact, all of our students at all grade levels are immersed in literacy throughout the school day. Phonemic awareness and phonics skills are developed through the implementation of the Words Their Way program and the Reading Wonders series. But the Hoboken Public School District is not tied to an anthology-based reading program. Students also engage in word study, guided reading, and literature circles. Teachers also run readers and writers workshops in their classrooms. Early in the kindergarten journey, students will build their literacy skills that are needed for academic success. They will draw and label pictures to tell stories. As the year moves on, students will add more text to stories. Soon they are writing narratives, arguments which are opinions, explanatory pieces, and reviews while applying the conventions of standard English grammar, such as punctuation and spelling. Everything that students will be exposed to is outlined in the English language arts curriculum, which is rooted in the New Jersey student learning standards. How about mathematics? What does our math curriculum look like? In kindergarten, students use the Investigations 3 program. This hands-on, inquiry-based math program is designed to prepare students for secondary and collegiate education and careers in the 21st century. Students will develop critical thinking skills and enhance communication and collaborative skills. With this program, students will also get to show their creative side. As students interact with numbers, we believe that math empowers students to describe, analyze, and understand their world. In Brant, Connors, and Wallace Elementary Schools, we love to hear students' math conversations. Our math program is guided by the New Jersey Student Learning Standards and the mathematical practices. Science is a student's favorite in our elementary schools. Did you know that all of our elementary schools have earned the award as nationally distinguished schools for STEM learning by Project Lead the Way? We make sure that our teachers cover the next generation science standards using the Dimensions Science Program, but also create a range of hands-on, inquiry-based labs through Project Lead the Way. These labs cover computer science, engineering, and biomedical science strands. Our last core content subject area is social studies. This is a favorite subject and curriculum among our staff. Students focus on developing an understanding of core democratic values, rights and responsibility as a community member and citizen, and how each person contributes to the cultural tapestry of our society. Students explore their world and resources and how the changing environment impacts everyday life. The Amistad curriculum and the standards for teaching social justice are woven throughout our kindergarten through fifth grade social studies curriculum. Our students are immersed in concepts about geography, culture, civics, economics, and history, also in alignment with the New Jersey student learning standards. The joy on their faces when they are engaging in social studies lessons and projects is priceless. Technology is utilized as a tool to support learning. At the start of the 2020-2021 school year, the Hoboken Public Education Foundation helped to make our district's one-to-one -one technology initiative for students in grades three through 12 a reality by purchasing the balance of Chromebooks needed to complete our inventory. Then, 
Much to our surprise, the foundation donated funds to purchase Chromebooks for the entire second grade. At this time, the Hoboken Public Education Foundation is in the midst of a campaign to help us put tablets in the hands of every kindergarten and first grade student for the start of next school year. In addition, the Hoboken School District provides wireless internet access to all families in need. We are so proud that our district is a model for technology access. With all of that learning, I bet you are hungry. Our elementary schools offer breakfast and lunch programs through Pomptonian Food Services. Information about menus and mealtime, our point of sale system, can be found on our website. Our early morning breakfast program is supervised and begins on the first Monday of the school year for students. It runs from 7.30 a.m. to 8.15 a.m. Our lunch program has really grown over the past few years. Children are offered hot and cold lunch options, along with farm fresh fruits and vegetable tastings and even vegetarian options. You can set up a mealtime account prior to the opening of school so that your child can buy lunch through a point of sale purchase system. Please do not worry about your kindergarten child. Our staff and cafeteria workers will help. If you feel more comfortable, you can always send your child to school with lunch until you are set up in mealtime. Lunchtime for kindergarten children is at 11.15 a.m. in each of our elementary schools. Within the first month of school, you will also receive a form regarding free and reduced lunch. Please fill that form out whether or not you believe you qualify or even if you do not think your child will purchase lunch. This is very important to the district as it is linked to our Title I funding. At all of our elementary schools in the district, students can participate in the Passport to Learning after school program. This wildly popular program runs from dismissal to 6 p.m. each day and has so many enrichment offerings. It's hard to name them all. Our students certainly love Dance Academy and Art Factory, theater, jumping beans, yoga and mindfulness, chess, forensic scientists, coding, creative beats by the New York Guitar School, fencing, intro to the French language, cooking for young chefs, and math circles through the Stevens Institute of Technology. There are many other courses along with homework help, academic support, free play, and dinner woven into the Passport to Learning program. The best part is that it is affordable. The Passport to Learning program is fee tiered, making it possible to offer the program at no cost to economically disadvantaged families. The Hoboken Public School District is committed to equal access to all programs for all students. Don't forget that the Hoboken Public School District also runs the LEAP Summer Program, a summer theater camp, and a summer fitness program for those students enrolled in the district. There are a multitude of ways for parents and guardians to be plugged into news and updates from our elementary schools and the district. First, be sure to follow the Hoboken School District on Twitter, at Hoboken Schools, and Facebook, at Hoboken Public School District. Our district website also contains relevant and up-to-date information. Every Friday, the superintendent of schools sends out a weekly newsletter called The Herald, and principals send out a weekly notice. Be sure that your email address or addresses are correct in our system so that you can receive these. If you realize that you are not getting them on Fridays, just give us a call at 201-356-3602 and someone will help you right away. Every school district in New Jersey must use an online student information system. In the Hoboken Public School District, we use Genesis. Genesis warehouses all pertinent information, such as address, phone numbers, contact and emergency contact information, and is also the system that houses grades and attendance. A child's report card is also generated from Genesis. It can seem a bit overwhelming, but don't worry. We provide a paper copy of the report card to all families in grades K and 1. 
In order for all of this information to work seamlessly, you must complete your paperwork that your child will go home with on the first day of school as accurately as possible. Let's just take a deep breath for a moment. You have heard a lot about our elementary schools. Why don't you take a deep breath as well? Okay, are we ready to move on? You may be wondering how parents and guardians can get involved in our school community and in the district. First, on a classroom level, we have class parents that assist the teacher in planning activities. Second, our schools have active PTOs. These committed groups of parents help to organize school events and assemblies, serve as key communicators, and raise money for special activities. Third, if you would like to get involved on a grander scale, you can also reach out to the Hoboken Public Education Foundation. The foundation is a group of dedicated parents, guardians, and community members that focus on large-scale initiatives for all of our schools. Hello, my name is Dr. Christine Johnson, and I am the proud superintendent of the Hoboken Public School District. My door is always open, and I am accessible at all times. Send me an email at cjohnson at hoboken.k12.nj.us or give me a call at 201-356-3602 with any questions that you may have and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Hello, my name is Sandra Rodriguez Gomez. Hola, mi nombre es Sandra Rodriguez Gomez and I serve as the Assistant Superintendent of Schools. If you have any questions at all about curriculum or any type of academic program, you can feel free to reach out to me directly. I am S. Rodriguez at hoboken.k12.nj.us or you can call me at 201-356-3604. Hello, my name is Cecilia Sanchez D'Elia and I'm the newly appointed Director of Special Services. I've been working in the district for a number of years, having served on the child study team, as well as the director of the school-based youth service program. If you need to know anything related to special services, my email is cdelia at hoboken.k12.nj.us, and I'm also just a phone call away at 201-356-3635. My name is Christopher Delafave and I'm the Director of Innovative Programs. If you'd like to learn more about our Passport to Learning program or Summer Leap Theater and or Fitness program, please email me at cdelafave at hoboken.k12.nj.us or call me at 201-356-3609. Hello, my name is Nori Rojas and I am the District's Enrollment Coordinator. I am here to assist you with the registration process. If your child is currently enrolled in the Hoboken Public Schools District Pre-K-4 program, you do not have to complete our online registration for kindergarten. Your child's enrollment information in our Pre-K program will automatically roll over into our kindergarten system. You will be asked to verify acceptance of enrollment, defer enrollment, or decline enrollment for your Pre-K-4 child in our kindergarten program. This will help us best plan and budget for the upcoming school year. Many ask, how are students placed in our elementary schools? Once we roll over all pre-K-4 children and add new enrollees to our incoming kindergarten class list, we do four things. First, we identify all children with siblings in any of our three elementary schools and place our incoming kindergarten students in the elementary schools that their older sibling attends. Second, we determine if there are any specialized programs that a child may need and place them in the school that hosts a specific program or that can best meet the need of the child. Third, we chart the walking distance of all remaining kindergarten students to each of our elementary schools. And fourth, we place all remaining kindergarten students in either the first or second closest elementary school to their home after balancing the socioeconomic footprints in each building. If your child is not currently enrolled in the Hoboken Public School District's Pre-K program and would like to enroll your child to, in kindergarten or any other grade in our district for September 2021, you can visit our website at www.hoboken.k12.nj.us. Hover over Central Office in the horizontal bar above the photo box and click on Student Enrollment Office. There you will see the link for the 21-22 K-12 online registration. If you have any questions or run into any challenges, 
contact me at nrojas at hoboken.k12.nj.us or call me at 201-356-3619 and I'll be happy to help you. I hope that you found this video valuable and that you are as excited to join our kindergarten family as we are to welcome you into it. We look forward to your child walking through the doors of Brant, Connors, or Wallace Elementary School as a student in September. Children are the reason why we laugh, smile, wake up each morning, and cannot wait to arrive at our respective schools each day. The Hoboken Public School District is honored to present this video as a testimonial to our elementary school program. Here we come Hoboken. Join us as we continue on our journey toward making our district the best it possibly can be for our students.